When you bring together notable composers responsible for the stunning soundtracks of games like Final Fantasy XI, Nier, and Secret of Mana, you'd like to think their work is showcased appropriately. I'm not entirely sold on the appropriate part when it comes to the magic transforming teenager and skimpy clothes department of Demons of Soul by Square Enix, but the rhythm based gameplay is perhaps the best way to showcase its music. You play as Serenity Alistair, a girl thrown into the unfortunate job of tech support for her father. Her task includes destroying the demon lords of the underworld who have been unwittingly unleashed upon the world, and with the help of her possessed bear and a submachine gun and sword combo, she might just succeed. Each stage is themed after a particular style of music, tied directly to the boss itself. Scratch that. Prior to reaching the boss, the music you listen to and dispatch monsters with is based on the soul you currently have equipped. At first you'll have none, but after killing Asmodeus, you'll be able to turn into a skimpily dressed clubber, taking on his particular musical motif in battle. Kill another boss and you'll have the choice of forming a pack to transform into them, gaining boosts to your stats and a change in music in the process. To take out the hordes of enemies, you'll engage in an elite beat agent's Oenden style of tapping, sliding and swiping the screen and beat with the music. Miss a beat and you'll take damage, get a perfect or critical and you'll gain health. It's all very simple at its core, but twists such as multiple taps and zigzagging swipes will keep you busy. However, and this is where things become a little depressing, you didn't think you'd get all of this for free, did you? Sadly not. Despite the already significant initial cost of the game, signing packs will require you to spend even more money. As such, the game holds you to ransom if you'd like more variety in your models and music beyond the first basic ones. For a game touting little variety in the way of combat and an enforced repetition of the easy, medium and hard stages to actually beat the game in its entirety, this becomes a fairly dirty move on the part of the publisher. If you don't mind repetition or you're happy to fork out large sums of money for the limited experience in Demons' Soul, then this is most definitely worth your time. But it's a hard pill to swallow when you consider how repetitive the default gameplay is. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.